Hey 10th grade, welcome back to yet another video for our YouTube channel and Google Classroom. Today we're going to be learning about skimming, scanning, and identifying the main argument in informational texts. Yes, that means we are done with writing for now and moving on to reading. That does not mean, however, that we can forget all of the things we learned in the past several weeks. Last week, we concluded our series on persuasive writing by learning how to construct a very strong conclusion paragraph. Huh? See what I did there? <laughs> all right, moving on. Let's try and see a quick recap. When writing persuasively, we first want to pick and defend a stance. We also want to write an entertaining hook that grabs the audience's attention and keeps it there. Remember to identify the evidence that would help defend your stance and make your opinions very, very strong. To do this, do not forget to cite your sources. Another great technique that we talked about is examining the opposite viewpoint. Here we want to include a paragraph in our essay that details the pieces of information or evidence that go against your opinion. However, we also kind of want to disprove these points um, in order to show that your evidence is stronger to make your argument even stronger. And finally, just like with every essay, we want to end with a strong, lasting conclusion paragraph. If you need to brush up on any of these skills, you can check out any of the videos that we've done in the past. They're all on the Google Classroom and on the YouTube channel for your convenience. But now that we have that in our back pocket, we can move on to some other techniques that will help us with our competencies and English learning skills. Reading is the best way to improve the vocabulary that will make your writing stronger. But aside from writing, comprehending what you read is also a major competency that you will need to move on to the next level. The only way to get better at reading is to read, read, read. Read all the books. And once you're done, read some more. Today, we're going to show you some techniques that you can use in order to read a lot and more efficiently. We first start with skimming. Skimming is a great reading technique that you can use in order to get the gist of whatever you're reading. How about you try? In this do now, skim the passage on the next two slides. Do not deep read. To do this, read the first paragraph, then read all of the topic sentences of each paragraph, and only the topic sentence, and finally, read the entire final paragraph. Each slide will be up for about 10 seconds, so you can pause the video at any time and take your time. You may also find a link to a PDF in the description if that's more comfortable for you. Here is the first half of an article. Pause the video now so that you can relax and read at your leisure. Moving on to the next slide in three, two, one. Here is the second half of the article. Again, you may pause the video if that is more comfortable for you. Moving on in three, two, one. 
Are you all done skimming? All right. You should be able to answer the following three questions just from skimming. They're not too deep questions, but just from using the techniques, you could be able to get them. So take a moment, pause the video now, and write down your answers. All set? Okay, the first question. What is the topic of this passage? The topic is about the crisis in Venezuela, which you should have been able to get from simply scan, uh, skimming. Sorry. Secondly, who is the author? Just by reading the first bits of the article, you should be able to get that it was written by Kejal Vyas. And finally, what is the main idea? The main idea is that El Bus TV is delivering news despite the censorship in Venezuela. Now that we're masters of skimming, let's check out an even greater technique, scanning. Scanning can be used in order to read much more efficiently. It's not as deep as a deep analysis and a deep dive into reading. But what you want to achieve through scanning is reading to answer specific questions. So, in other words, if you want to figure out what is exactly El Bus TV, you can ask yourself this question, scan the passage, but read it, in order to answer that question. Here we have three questions, so we're going to read it three times. Yes, you're going to read it each time looking for the answer to a specific question. So, let's try it. On this screen, you can pause the video if you have the PDF, or go back to the um, article and read it each time for you to answer each of these three questions. What is El Bus TV? According to this passage, what is Venezuela's economy like? And according to the passage, is it easy or difficult to access news in Venezuela? Pause the video now and try to answer these questions. Think you're ready? Okay, let's move on. So, what is El Bus TV? If you answered something similar to El Bus TV describes journalists who are fighting censorship in Venezuela by reading the news to bus riders, then you're pretty good at scanning already. But let's try to answer the other two questions. According to the passage, what exactly is Venezuela's economy like? If you answered similarly to Venezuela's economy is very poor, we know this because the article states that Venezuela has sky-high inflation and food shortages, then you did pretty great. We know this because sky-high inflation and high food shortages is not a very good thing to have. Finally, is it easy or difficult to access news in Venezuela? The answer is, it is difficult to access news in Venezuela. We know this because the article states that Chavez, one of Venezuela's previous leaders, labeled the media an enemy of the people. And more than 111 media broadcasters have been shut down, and that under Madura, any news that reflects the government poorly is also shut down. Now that we have tools such as skimming and scanning, we are going to be able to read a lot more and a lot more efficiently. A great technique that you should try to use whilst reading is the PAIR method. This stands for pause, evaluate, anticipate, 
and reassess. The first step is pause. Before you get to reading a long article, pause for a moment and ask yourself a few questions. What is this reading about? What is the topic? Who is the author? To do this, use the skimming technique in the passage. The next step is to evaluate. As you read each paragraph, ask yourself some of these questions. What is the main idea? Is this an opinion? How do we know? What side, of the, what side is the author on? These are the types of questions you ask while you read. Next, you want to anticipate. At the end of each paragraph, anticipate what might happen next in the passage. It is not important that your guess is correct, but thinking about what might happen helps you stay engaged with the reading and will help you read more efficiently and have a better understanding of what you have read. Finally, we want to reassess. After reading each paragraph, think about what you've read and ask yourself, what is the main idea? What is the main argument? And just like before, what side of the argument is the author on? All right, let's practice using the pair method. Read the passage on the next two slides and use the steps that we taught. Again, each slide will be on the screen for approximately 10 seconds, so you can pause the video when you need to. You can also find a PDF link in the description for this passage as well. Make sure that you pause before you begin reading the passage and skim the passage. Ask yourself questions about what you are about to read. Next, we want to evaluate as you go. Stop and think about each paragraph as you read. Then, we want to anticipate. Anticipate what you think might happen in the next paragraph at the end of each paragraph. And finally, reassess. Ask yourself about the main idea of each paragraph to see if you got it correct. Here is the second passage. You may pause the screen now and practice your peer method, or if you have the PDF, you may use that. Moving on in three, two, one. Here is the second half of the article. Once again, you can pause the screen to read at your leisure or follow along if you have your PDF. Three, two, one. Great job today, everyone. Today, we learned about skimming and how you can find the gist of each article or passage that you're reading, how you can scan to answer critical and specific questions within the article, and finally, the peer method, which you can use in order to evaluate the readings deeper and continue to ask yourself and engage questions while reading. Remember that reading comprehension is a competency that you need to move on to the next grade. Combine this with persuasive writing and all of the other techniques we learned in our English class, you should be in great shape. Don't forget to check the other videos on our YouTube channel, continue to engage in the Google Classroom, and check out the links in the description for further sources to help you with these techniques. See you guys next week.